In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about the world. The truth is that if you don't keep a job, if you lose your business, if you don't have the same customers because your work has finished, you are looking at a time of not only COVID and pandemic and opportunities lost, but you're also looking at the truth that we don't have the same opportunities. Once things have shifted in an economy, that is truthful. People's businesses are impacted, people's careers change, and we have to look at what can remain the same. The things in life that remain the same are our families of choice, the people that we choose to stay with, play with, and lay with. And I'll be straightforward, if you choose the right bedfellow, even for a short time in your life, you can totally mess up your life. You can change your face, you can change your clothes, you can do a lot of things, but if you don't change your life, if you don't change how you look at things, if you don't change how you feel about things, you could really have a difficult, challenging life. You see, some careers never get off the ground, and other careers take a really good turnaround, but other people sometimes know, don't know when to leave their career and start something else with their skill sets. But here's what I know about life. Life is more of an adventure when you're out in the wilderness, and life is more of a happy time when you're spending time talking to people. But if it's inauthentic conversation, if it's someone trying to play with you, and someone trying to steal from you, and someone trying to harm you who's approaching you, that's a very exhausting situation. Sincere and real people know how to approach someone, help them, talk to them, serve them, and go on in life. Liars want to play for 30 minutes or an hour and waste someone's time. The most valuable thing another human being gives you in your lifetime is their time. It's time for discussion, it's time for loving, it's time for helping, it's time for serving. It's time that they give up for your time in life. Your time in life may not be here yet. A time in life is usually a time in life, a time to be together, a time to play together, a time to go places together, a time to travel together, a time to do things together. But that's usually relations between people who really care about each other. People who don't really care about each other but stay with each other usually end up having difficulties. They usually end up making miserable children, they make up having horrible jobs, and they just don't get along with their employer anymore. <laughs> A person who's always changing their career every few years isn't really having difficulty relating to their job necessarily, but they just haven't found their stride. They just haven't been raised on eagle's wings to do everything that God has planned for them without them having to hide. You see, we don't need to hide from people who love us, but sometimes the people who love us are not the people we want in our life. I have plenty of biological, blood-related people that I don't want to spend any time with because of how they harm people, because of how they talk to people, because of how they lie about people, and because of what they say about people. Their arrogance in the world of God makes me ill. You see, some people will say that God didn't make this, other people will say that God didn't make that, and I look at them and go, according to the Bibles of the world, according to the good books of all the nations, according to those that are put out there, there is only one God, and God makes it all.